Don't count your chickens before they hatch. Hello and welcome to the Durham Talents channel. My name is Jesse Durham. Today we'll be covering another one of our quotes episode series where we assess some quote and how it may relate to the infinite banking concept as conceived and described by R. Nelson Nash in his book, Becoming Your Own Banker. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. This one was really natural for me to be able to use. I had it written down for quite a while now. We even, I'll say if you haven't noticed ever before or checked out our bloopers reels, for example, uh, we have chickens on our property. So I've heard this one before. Let me know if you've heard this one before. But I did, upon sitting down and considering the saying, come up with some thoughts I'd never pursued before. So where I started with was with Murphy's Law. That's not explicitly put in Nash's book. And yet... So the law states that if something can go wrong, it will go wrong. Now, I think that's a little too doom and gloom for me to adopt as a permanent thought, as a mentality. And yet, I can readily recognize how we should account for what may happen. You know, as, as some say it, the enemy gets a vote. You know, we can't account for all circumstances. We can we can handle our part of the process. You know, the, the horse is prepared for the day of battle, but safety is of the Lord, uh, the scripture says. So what I'm saying is that we can account for what we can, but there's no way for us to account for everything, to have that guaranteed result of, well, if I have a hen that's sitting on a clutch of a dozen eggs, that I will have a dozen chickens. That's not necessarily going to be the case. Some of those may not have been fertilized. Some, So just different things can happen. So we should account for Murphy's Law, again, even when evaluating personal finance. Now, naturally, I gravitate towards thinking to the guarantees of properly structured whole life policies with mutual companies that pay dividends because with those we have day one when the policies enforce a permanent permanent guaranteed death benefit that will be a tax for tax free excuse me transfer of wealth to our heirs or our beneficiaries but also in that unilateral contract, we have a guaranteed access to the cash values of that policy. So we can access capital in a known interest environment. Uh, we can control how that's repaid, when it's repaid. and Because again, we have private ownership, we have control. So that's a great way to be able to account for Murphy's Law in my way of thinking by strategically Paying premiums, meaning amassing capital somewhere. Another example that I personally thought of was where there was a time when Jesus was asked when he healed someone of an infirmity, whether it was that man that had sinned or perhaps his parents that had done wrong that caused him to be born with that infirmity. It was, it was an infirmity from birth. And Jesus answered by saying, well, neither you know and that's that's what my thinking is here is that some things just are the way they are i don't mind questioning lots of things but there are things i recognize that are outside of our our purview our control and they just are so that's what jesus said in that instance he said you know there was a different purpose it had nothing to do with this man it had nothing to do with his parents there was a completely different pur pur purpose it just was that way and I think that that will be true as we consider that we shouldn't count our chickens before they hatch. It will just be the case that one may get crushed, one may get pushed out of the nest, one may not have been fertilized, one may be eaten by a snake. I went, uh, there was a nice two and a half foot long copperhead behind my chicken coop just, just the other day. So... Some things will be just as they are. But again, if we can recognize that preemptively and take a proactive stance of amassing capital, controlling the banking function in our lives, thinking long range, not doing business with banks, all these other different principles that Nash espoused in his book, Becoming Your Own Banker, will be accounting for Murphy's Law showing up. So my personal takeaway from thinking of this quote was to recognize the benefits of considering worst-case scenarios and be better than expecting
expected, better than could be expected scenarios. Because I have, I, I, I try to maintain and nurture a bright and optimistic uh, sense of opportunity and possibility, to be sure, while coupling that, like, Using imagination, like Nash would say in his book, use your imagination and reason and logic. So thinking proactively of the opportunities that there will be for productivity and growth and expansion and, and, and abundance while also being conservative and well-established and based and founded by using reason and logic. And I will do that with prospective clients and, and current clients. We will look at what worst case scenarios may look like, what better than expected cases may look like, you know, because we uh we have we have good conversations about growth and, and expansion and abundance. That's that's the general direction of the conversations with the folks that, that we work with and, and I like it that way. So when considering not counting your chickens before you have them hatch, I think that by practicing the infinite banking concept, that is a great way because you're not abdicating something that could be in your control to someone else. And moreover, you you wouldn't be putting yourself in a position to be bleeding out volumes and volumes of interest that forever leaves your family and your household, your business, that could be maintained and grown and developed, and we could then use that capital to become our own banker, to be able to think and act and plan intergenerationally uh, for three, four, five, six, seven, eight generations ahead. So I hope that this conversation has been intriguing for you as it has been for me. Let me know. Do you have chickens? Just curious. <laughs> And to have a conversation about how to implement the infinite banking concept into your household, your business, your investing, you can reach me at 828-817-4223. Or you can email durhamtalents at gmail.com. This has been a great pleasure for me. I look forward to our next conversation. Have a great day. Take care. Interesting. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. 400 something years old of a saying documented. Who knew?